I'm so excited. I thought we could unbox it together. My Teddy Blake family have sent me a brand new handbag and I am overjoyed. You guys know I love my handbags. Like, pick your poison, okay? <laughs> this one's mine. <laughs> Before we get too overexcited and dive straight into this box like it's Christmas Day, this part of the video is in partnership with Teddy Blake New York. Oh my God, it's a big one. <laughs> Look at the size of the box. I love it. Yeah, so if you're a luxury handbag lover like myself, you'll know that there's this movement at the moment. People are turning away from the uber uber luxury designer brands due to like quality issues. Like, have you seen some of the quality issues that people are experiencing? <gasps> It's shocking. And yeah, most of us are turning to brands such as Teddy Blake, who offer quality craftsmanship and affordable prices. So as you all just saw, Teddy Blake handbags arrive fully boxed and inside the mailbox, you get the full luxury unboxing inside with this gorgeously branded Teddy Blake New York box. It's got the magnetic closure. Like you know when you see this box that there's something really special inside. So I personally love the luxury unboxing element. And inside we have a gorgeous signature Teddy Blake dust bag. So it looks like this in its iconic dust bag. And these bags are made in Italy from 100% premium Italian leather. And the craftsmanship is up there with the best. Say hello to the newest member of the family. This is the Vanessa Croc 14 inch in the shade light beige. So here's the bag in full light so you can appreciate all of its details. We've got the Teddy Blake subtle brand in there at the top very quiet luxury i love this little charm it is removable and it's of the apple so i'm thinking that's the new york apple <laughs> but we've got gold detailing on this bag in particular it's got gold hardware so it is a 14 inch croc tote bag so very large fits a lot in as you can see it's got these little button clip details at the side so that it maximizes its capacity as you can see it fits a lot of stuff inside and that's really handy for me because I do film a lot and carry a lot more stuff with me these days she's got a real suede interior and oh my god the smell I wish you could smell through the screen as you can see here we have some hooks which allow you to clip on this longer strap if you wanted to so you can top handle her and you can also cross body her or just over the shoulder with this longer strap again with the gold hardware it's absolutely stunning bag so we have inside these two wider sections of the bag and then in the middle we have a zip section zip closure with the gold zip detail i'm really excited to style this bag up with some outfits imagine the winter whites with this textured croc light beige bag she's just a really really handy everyday kind of a handbag and i'm just so in love this is actually my second Teddy Blake handbag. I do have this one as well. And don't they just look adorable together? I've had this one for like two years now, I think. Has it been two years? And she is just one of my favourites. Obviously, she's a bit more smaller and dressier. She's the bag I reach for if I'm going out, out. So it's really nice to add something like this to my collection. I've got nothing in that textured croc style print. I'll leave this bag linked down below for you guys. I'll also leave you a link to my other Teddy Blake handbag because I know that that's a really popular one as well. 
and obviously they do do these bags in all other colors as well and there's other styles to choose from it's really hard to choose on the website i've also managed to get you guys a 30 dollars off discount code i will leave it on the screen for you now i'll also pop it in the description box down below with the link so make sure you take advantage of that I obviously highly recommend and do you know what it might be worth giving the husbands in the back a little nudge as well because it is Valentine's Day coming up soon <coughs> and finally I'd just like to thank my Teddy Blake family for partnering with me on today's video I truly truly appreciate it it is a beautiful day blue skies listen we've had so many storms back to back here in the uk i can't even keep up i think i read the other day because i have to google it like is there another storm in the uk because like i said i don't watch the news so i don't really know unless i hear it on the radio or i google it myself because of the bad weather anyway it said we'd, we've had 10 did i just spit i think i just spat then didn't i sorry about that <laughs> And we've had 10 this storm season, so I think it's from August to whenever. And yeah, after all that bad weather and me panicking about trees falling onto me house, I mean, this house has been studied for 100 years and I don't know why I'm worrying so much through every storm. Like, the house is going to blow down. <laughs> it's just nice, isn't it, to see some blue skies and sunshine. It's not like me to wear a leather biker jacket. This is giving me, like... 80s vibes anyway i've got it on with my little i don't know if you can see my outfit over there but ta -da! it's just gorgeous isn't it love it we're off to do our weekend food shop this morning so the friday hauls are back i've asked hubby i've asked hubby what he wants for dinner tonight now usually we have a treat on a friday night we'll do like burgers because we're pretty good all week i must admit with the food you know and the treats if we have them in the house during the week, we'll eat them. Hubby says we'll delete them. <laughs> That's exactly what we do. So yeah, we do on a Friday and it just it minimizes the treats intake in the house. If they're not in the house, you can't have them. You know what I mean? So it works for us. And um, yeah, we usually have a treat dinner on a Friday night as well. And they usually make like really good cheesy burgers with all the good stuff on them. You know, like onion rings, hash browns and freaking caramelized onion and mustard and ketchup and all of you know all of that stuff i asked him what he wants this morning and he said he wants that chicken pot pie <laughs> so i don't know if, i don't know if i want to make a pot pie today because there's a lot to it isn't there you know it's very home comforting food there's we've got blue skies and i know it's cold I think I'm going to go to Lidl this morning. I can't be bothered to go to, go to Aldi. Usually I go to Aldi. We'll go there next week in next week's vlog and see what Aldi have got in because I actually haven't been to Aldi this January so far, have I? Anyway, let's get to Lidl, do the shop and get back before that Friday chaos starts. You know what it's like out there on a Friday. I don't like it. all come in little pieces so I think I'm gonna need the husband to help us with this but I might just give it a go if not I'll show it you fully built tomorrow so this must be the bottom piece because it's got these like rubber grips on um, and then that I'm guessing is the bottom of the trunk so let's pop it in situ and see okay put that down there is it going to be strong enough for me to kneel on? Okay, and then, right, that must be the top. This must be the top because it's got these little chain details on. I'm really glad it's in gold hardware as well. Gold hinges at the back there. So that's where it will probably like open up. And if you haven't guessed what this is already, it's a storage trunk. They're all numbered, lettered even, A, B, C, D. 
Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to wait for Ash to come home. So he wants a chicken pot pie, which is why I've got some pastry. Get this ready to roll stuff. It's just dead easy, isn't it? And then I've got a chicken crown. These are absolutely fabulous. These in these little foil containers. And um, yeah, salt and pepper chicken crown. The skin's absolutely gorgeous on these. So I'll roast that in the oven and then that's the chicken that will go in the pie. I might save a half of it for something else. Some triple cooked beef dripping chips. Now I never get, oh, they've got skin on as well. I didn't know that. Um, I never really buy frozen chips unless it's fries for a Friday night. <clears throat> if we're doing burgers, I usually cook my own chips, but I really can't be bothered. If I'm going to make the pie tonight on a Friday, then I need to make life as easy as possible. That's what I was thinking anyway when I bought these. I've got some mixed nuts in here. We have walnuts, hazelnuts, cashews and almonds. I love snacking on these. <clears throat> you know, when I'm doing work during the day. I'll have a little... Uh, ramekin full of nuts because they're just whole nuts they're really good for you and seeds and i've got some like pantry jars so i thought we could sort out some my nuts and seeds and all of that pantry organizational stuff ready salted because what else and these are just like a dupe for walker's crisps i just got a top up of our favorite coffee in fact i could make another one of them right now because i'm just struggling to get going today you guys so it's the weekend, so we do need a treat. You know, it can't all be work and no play. <laughs> so I've picked up some Mars bars. Sometimes it'll be Kit Kat Chunkies. I just swap it out. So just some chocolate while we're watching movies and things like that. We've got some leeks. I'm going to chop these up finally. They're going to go in the chicken pot pie as part of the filling. Carrots, because I'll finally chop these as well. They'll go in the pie. I've got some broccoli in the fridge already and that'll go on the side and we'll do the gravy sauce again. And that's tonight's dinner. Free range eggs, we've got 12 free range eggs. We go through eggs like nobody's business in this house, especially for the brunch on Saturday morning. I've already got sausages, they're in the fridge. I picked them up during the week. I got some paracetamol because I'm running low and I cannot have a headache. I cannot have a headache. British unsalted butter. Now, I buy the salted version, you know, to go on the toast and things like that because it's just absolutely beautiful, isn't it, real butter? And that's in the jar over there. But I've actually bought some unsalted butter for a recipe that we're going to do today, you guys. We've been watching My Name is Earl. Basically, he starts to believe in karma all of a sudden after being bad his whole life. And he starts writing a list of everything he's done wrong and he starts ticking through them and making everything right basically that he's done wrong anyway it's really funny it's really good light-hearted comedy and all of that stuff and they made some rice crispy cakes the other night and i said not cakes rice crispy marshmallow bars and i said oh my god i haven't had rice crispy marshmallow bars for ages so i picked up some um rice crispy snaps um totally influenced by my name is earl i've got some marshmallows here and this butter look at these how gorgeous are these little baby peace lilies i used to have a peace lily plant years ago it was so dreamy i kept it alive and it grew massive i don't know what happened to it in the end i think i moved house and somewhere along the line we lost it or somehow i can't remember what happened to it basically anyway they're selling these in lidl and they're in these little gorgeous black and white ceramic pots and they've got stripy ones and they've got uh, black and white ones. And guess how much these are? $2.99 for a plant. And these grow really big and they're really easy to look after. And they're just so nice around the house. Like I said, I've had one before. Don't they bring peace? And that's why they're called peace lilies. They're absolutely beautiful. Tell me that pot is not worth $2.99 if you were to buy it in another shop you'd they'd be selling that pot for $2.99 and it comes with the plant it's a real plant there's my little friday haul so i'm gonna pop all this stuff away and then let's do a little sheen haul how easy it would be to fall for you but that of course is something i won't do Cause we've agreed between you and me We're nothing more than friends How silly it would be to put this friendship to an end How crazy that would be Yet here I am Falling in love again 
to still have faith To never stop believing that one day When time is right and stars align Our views would coincide We'll see the world in color Though they say that love is blind How stupid that would be Indeed, that's true And still I'm waiting for you I am forever can't remember what date it is in January, but I have had the slowest morning. Can't say it's same for Ash. He is currently clearing out all of the bedrooms upstairs, which is really, really exciting. But I will tell you about that in the next renovation blog. It will be coming up soon. I am having, guys, the worst hair day ever. I just need it cut, I think. And this fringe is just not a vibe. Like it just won't do, can you see it just keeps going like this, it just won't do anything. Anyway, so apologies for the hair this morning, but I wanted to start off in the bedroom as bloody usual. <laughs> We've only got the bedroom done in the house really, haven't we? And the, um, what's it called downstairs, the utility room, and I can't film a haul in the utility room, can I? It's just better off being up here and we can have our cup of tea. Oh. Let's finish that before it gets cold. Yeah, I say haul. It's not a massive haul. I've picked up some bits from Shein and I've also got some new in beauty bits, which I'm really excited to open with you guys this morning as well. Also, Hubby has fixed up our um, storage bench at the bottom of the bed. So I'll show you that all in its full glory and we can style it up together. Oh, and sorry for yesterday's filming just abruptly ending. <laughs> I ended up just, do you know when the day just gets away with you? Well, it just got away with me, like it does, you know, you know how it is. But I'm gutted we didn't get around to making those Rice Krispie marshmallow bars because last night oh, I so wanted one and I thought, shall I make them because they're dead quick? And then I thought, no, because I promised you guys we'd make them together on the vlog. So we're definitely going to do that today. I won't be making that mistake again. <laughs> I'll show you what I picked up from Primark as well. Some really nice little bits, I think. Oh, we're quite low, aren't we? I'm actually sat on the storage bench. Yeah, I had to pick up another one of these teacup and saucers because if you know me, you'll know that I am a very symmetrical person and I had to have two because just one wasn't enough. A vintage, textured, almost rustic looking teacup and saucer. So that vintage cushion at the back was from Timu and they only sent one. I thought I ordered two. Anyway, I found it on Shein as well. It's exactly the same and it's in this like Chanel textured fabric. It's really quite luxurious and it's very French country, isn't it? I love that. It just goes really nice, I think, in the style of our home. I opened them to put the seeds and the nuts in. So let me just pop one down because they're heavy <laughs> and I don't want to break them. These are glass storage jars and they've got these gorgeous wooden lids. But I like them because they've got the handles on. And I don't think I've seen any like this in our usual shops. You know, like Dunnell and Matalan and B&M Bargains. Unless I've overlooked them. They might have some in them shops. I don't know. But these are from Shein. I saw them on the website and I thought, Do you know what? I'll get a couple of these. They do these in all sorts of sizes as well on the website. I'll leave these ones exact ones linked down below and I'll also leave everything in this little haul video if I can down below as well. This is a 
Is it a lint remover? I don't know, it's some sort of device and I definitely, definitely needed one. Why is it wonky? Why is it like wonky to that side? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, is it just bent? It doesn't matter, I suppose, but I think it's got these little like bristly bars on the end. I don't know really how it works, but um, I haven't got anything like this. And I also need a lot of things like this, you know, like silly little items like lint removers and things like that. Because obviously we've got a little dog. That's why I can't wear anything black. That's why I'm sad beige neutral decor. Because I can't have any other colour because you just see Ralphie's little hairs everywhere. It's for like carpets and things like that or cushions not sure <laughs> but um i'll link it down below but i think it's gonna come in really handy whatever it is <laughs> so next up is a little beauty order i did mention at the start of the year that um there's some products that i really want to try this year and we'll do it together throughout the year and i'll tell you what i think about them this is not one of them. <laughs> this is just my usual um, part of my skincare routine. I love this stuff. Usually I get the big bottle. I didn't know they did a smaller bottle. Clearly they do. I've ordered wrong. That is so small. I suppose that's really good though for travel size. I do intend on buying some travel sized items just for traveling. Obviously then you can take all your little bottles away and it doesn't have to be the bigger version. It just saves space, doesn't it? So yeah, I'm actually glad now that I've ordered that little one. It wasn't intentional. Like I've got the big bottle over there but I'm running low and I cannot deal without this stuff so I used to have acne prone skin I had Roaccutane which is also known as Isotretinoin which is a dermatology given drug really intense and it does cure acne so um have a look into that if you are struggling like I used to be obviously I've not had a breakout now for years it's really good but I do believe that this stuff really helps keep those pores and that oily skin um from getting upset you know because it's gentle exfoliator so it is a glycolic acid toner and it's just a, a very light seven percent so i use it every single evening and every single morning as part of my skincare routine and i can't live without it okay so who remembers me doing the charlotte tilbury dupes video yeah i was on a budget at the time and i was dying to try some of the charlotte tilbury products that i hadn't invested in just yet so it sent me down a rabbit hole and basically in that video i'll link it down below so you can watch it but i went on the hunt and did a lot of research to find all the charlotte tilbury dupes so that i could get the look without paying the price <laughs> and that's what we did and we found some really good products in that video in fact i still wear that lipstick apparently it's a dupe of the pillow talk still haven't tried the pillow talk so i can't compare just fyi but uh, everybody asks me i just got a comment last night what is the lipstick you're wearing and this is the revolution lipstick in the shade chauffeur i'll link it down below Anyway, I digress. Even though I really enjoyed doing that product and I believe we found some really good dupes like this lipstick. I don't think I will ever turn away from this lipstick now. It's just my signature lipstick. Anyway, like I said, as much as I enjoyed doing that video, um, I do want to try the real thing, you know, when the budget allows. And I thought I'd pick up a couple more products. So here we've got some of the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. Um, this is like an eyeshadow. I believe it's like a creamy eyeshadow. Ooh, -hoo, and I love it. It's more of a copper brown rose gold. Like the dupe of this I picked up from that Charlotte Tilbury dupes video was the Maybelline Tattoo, I think it was called, cream eyeshadow. And I've still got it. And I got it in the pink gold, it's called, which is, I think, nearest to rose gold, obviously. And it is very pink. Let's give it a little swatch, shall we? Oh, I think that's going to be lovely. There it is. Like a gold, coppery. I'm planning on doing a reel over on Instagram with my full makeup routine. I'm going to use these new products as well. So if you want to see what it looks like a bit more close up and in more detail, then go over to my Instagram and follow me over there. My handle is up here. If you're not already over there with me. And oh my God, you guys, you're going to die when I tell you what I've got. Charlotte's Magic Cream. What? So apparently, I didn't know this, but they do it in all sorts of different sizes. So I've gone for the, oh, what have I gone for? 
I can't remember, the uh, 30 mil. Cause like, what if we don't like it? Do you know what I mean? I don't want to be spending like a hundred pounds on the bigger version. So I've gone for the 30 mil, which I think will be really, really nice for traveling with. And if we love it, we'll get the big one next time. And then we'll keep this little bottle for traveling with and we can transfer, do you know what I mean? So that'll be really handy. But yeah, this is the Charlotte's Magic Cream and it's meant to be amazing. I have no idea what this is like, you guys. So. But yeah, I just want to smell it and have a little, like, first impression. I'm so excited to get my hands on this because I've been after this for years, haven't I? And I just did never, and I just never pulled the trigger. Well, here we are, you guys. We're all about trying new things this year. Well, it smells nice. You can swatch all day, can't you? But the skin on your back of the hand is totally different from the skin on your face. And of course, with skincare, you need to like use it for a good couple of weeks. I'd say a good six weeks so that you know what it's doing with your skin because it can take six weeks for your skin to have any reactions and da, 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 and all that stuff. But yeah, really excited to have some of this in my possession finally and finally i've got some primark bits and bobs we picked up from primark <laughs> this is basically a biker jacket and it's in this like vintage cream and yeah i just thought get out of your comfort zone buy the jacket and see if we can style it so i found this in the sale it was the only one in the store it looked like someone's just brought it back and they just don't have them anymore it's a size 18 to 20 it's massive on me but i love that oversized fit and it just gave me like 80s vibes i don't know why but i thought let's try it out because this jacket if you know me and you know my style i'm like super girly so a biker jacket is very masculine and like i don't know i i i struggle to pull that kind of stuff off so i thought i'd try it anyway get out of my comfort zone try and be a cool girl originally went to be 36 pounds and it's 20 quid so yeah i will try and style this up and pop some cutaway clips here for you I know it's still winter, but think of spring with these in mind like I did. And they're a gorgeous, gorgeous light blue stripe pyjama bottom. Boyfriend pyjamas. We just love boyfriend pyjamas over here. They're the comfiest things ever. And I just think they're just so elevated, these ones. Anyway, they're a size large. And I do like oversized stuff, but got them home and the waistband looks absolutely massive i'm gonna try them on i will pop a cutaway clip here for you at the side so you can see but depending on if they fit me properly um will depend on it if i take them back or not but aren't they just the sweetest things ever they're the trousers classic boyfriend shirt in the same stripe blue light blue stripe and i think that's absolutely stunning it gives me like french chic vibes love them okay next thing i picked up with these i couldn't resist these i did point these out in the store as well but they are just tell me they are not the most gorgeous colors you've ever seen we all love the nudie browns and them kind of colors underneath our clothes obviously especially if you're wearing white and things like that always wear nude underwear but look at the blue as well and those two colors together they were just giving me all the spring vibes you know like the denims and the tans together them kind of color combinations that's what it was doing and i thought i have to have these so these are those stretchy comfy like bralettes that they sell in Primark and I love them underneath my pyjamas and underneath loungewear on those down days that we have plenty of but these are different I've never seen these before these are a push-up version like what and if you've got bigger boobs like me you need all the help you can get you do feel like really really sturdy um and that's what they look like inside so yeah i can't wait to try these instead these were 12 pounds i picked them up in a size small which is 10 to 12 i am smaller on top but these are stretchy and i really wanted some um you know some tightness around that area with these bras also imagine these underneath my pajamas like what why am i like this why am i like this with the details 
complete control body shaper. So I'm guessing they'll really suck me in because I don't know about you guys, right? But basically the tights. So they're like skin colored tights, 15 denier. I don't know what that means, but in the spring, I do like dresses and things like that. But sometimes I don't like my legs out on show or I do like my legs out on show, but it's cold. <laughs> I'm a cold girl. And I thought to myself, genius, just wear some freaking skin colored tights. So I thought I'd try these and that's the reason for these. And these are a size medium. And what, what price are these? Oh, five pounds. So these are five pounds. I'll have to let you know what they're like. You know, I had to pick these up. Five microfiber cloths. It literally says it there. And yeah, look at the colors of these, like stunning. They're a neutral, but they're that earthy, sagey green. Mm tone do you know what i mean like i love this tone and i just thought they'll look gorgeous in the kitchen not seeing anything like this anywhere else in fact i think jisk have some wonderful kitchen bits because these are the colors you want to leave out on the sides don't you, you don't want the bright pinks and the freaking silvers and the oh bright lime green colors well i definitely don't anyway because it gives me an headache Next up, which will probably be no surprise to you because I pointed these out in the store, but I had to pick up one of those brass buckets. Literally £1.30. I just thought in the utility room, we can pop some flowers in there. And do you know what? I might go back and get some more. They had them in all the different colours. They had them in silver, black, white, and this brass colour, and you can always paint them in the colours that you like, you know, in the like parron ball colours, oh how nice would that be? And even if the paint cracks off, it like looks rustic, doesn't it? So I just love these, I think they're absolutely beautiful. Do you know what they give me? Flower shop vibes. You know when you go into a flower, a really nice flower shop and they've got these big bucket bowls of flowers and I just love them. <laughs> I had to have this. I have no clue what I'm going to hang this on, but I will find somewhere for it. So you'll have to stay tuned on the blog and we'll find somewhere for it. We'll have a little faff around like we usually do. Next up, I picked up this. It's in a glass jar. So this was £6 and I thought at first, that's quite pricey for what it is. It's just a little glass jar with some fake tulips inside of it. However, on closer inspection, they're foam, foam flowers. And I think that they look a lot more realistic than the fake silk flowers sometimes. So yeah, they feel lovely. And therefore that reflects the price for me. I had to buy these ready for the spring. I can't wait to add some spring touches to the house. And then I found this got home literally and thought what is that I never picked that it's £3.50 as well so I'm really annoyed um I hope they'll take it back because like it's a beauty product and they might think I've opened it and tried it but I haven't like I literally did not even put it in the bag so next time I'll have to check and watch them you know pack the bag I, I don't know whether it's um fell into the bag or the basket or whatever but it's wonder lash yeah, I think that's everything I've got to show you up to now. We might go out tonight for dinner as well. I hope so. I fancy it. Do you know what as well? I've not had a glass of wine the whole of January. Actually, I tell a lie. My birthday, wasn't it, when we last had a glass of wine when we went out to the theatre and we watched The Life of Pi. Did I mention that? Because there was so much going on at the beginning of the year. I don't think I mentioned it. It was amazing. I've got this cushion insert downstairs with no cover on it. Whatever size your cushion is, always go for the size bigger in the inserts because it will make it look a lot more full and less baggy. Therefore, it looks more luxurious. Yeah, that's a top trick for you. So let's pop this on because it's been bugging me to death, not having two on the bed. And I just think they're absolutely gorgeous.
half a cup of butter, so we don't need that after all. Let me see if I can find my cups. Right, we've got cups here. Cups. So half a cup of butter. So that's a quarter of a cup. Three quarters. What's that? Half a cup. I'm on cup. So that's half a cup of butter. Um, how do we know? Right, let's just put it in and see. Oh, so you don't need a lot of butter then, do you not? Oh dear. Oh my good God. Right, let's just try and fit the butter in here. And do they mean half when it's like... Right, okay. And a little bit more, I think. Right, that'll do. That will ding dang do. Half a cup of butter. Right, I hope this goes right. Right, we don't need that anymore. So that's half a cup of butter. Got. It says four cups of, so one cup of marshmallows. Four, oh, oh, I love marshmallows. Four cups of marshmallows. Right, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, do you know what? That's just about right. <laughs> Four. So good. Mmm. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh my god, I'm dribbling. <laughs> if there ends up any dribbling here, nobody's going to know. <laughs> Does anybody want a rice crispy curry? Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is lovely. Five cups of rice krispies. That's one. because you always get it wrong. It's not for me to decide how many Rice Krispies. Right, let's turn the heat down and mix this in. Oops. Can you hear that? Snap, crackling and popping. Oops, making a mess. <laughs> well, we make such a mess, but it's just so good, isn't it? Making a mess. <laughs> Delicious. So I'm 
guessing you just combine it. You just keep combining it. <sighs> Amazing. Then what? Oh, maybe we should keep the heat on a little bit. Do you think? I think so. Oh my god, that's so good. Stop it. in the middle and go along and then we'll start in the outer if there's any overspill you know like and then we're gonna come down we're gonna come down here because I don't know about you but I don't like the corners I like the middle ones <laughs> we'll just like ta ta and do we just go like this I wish the lighting was better, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. I think that is us. There we go. They smell absolutely amazing. I'm sorry about the lighting, everybody. But yeah, I'm going to let these cool down. And once they're cool, you can take them out of the little tin. This tin, it's actually a brownie tin. And it has this removable, like, can you see this system here, which cuts everything into like lovely little squares. And um, obviously they haven't set yet. So mm. I just want to eat everything when it's nice and hot. I prefer things when it's like fresh out the oven and it's like still warm. One. Two. I used to look upon myself as rational and strong, and love was just a word in silly songs. But from that cursed day when you crossed my way All my confidence was gone I'm bewitched, bewildered, and utterly alone And something's telling me it always will be you Until the end of my day I see how I finally fight away to show you how I long for your touch, knowing I'd be asking for much to get to have you in. 